Hello and welcome. You're watching NDTV 24-7. I'm Osama Shab. Uh, the big story that we are tracking at the top of this hour, there has been a clash between two groups in Delhi. Several rounds were fired uh, in Delhi and one woman has been injured in that firing. Uh, remember, uh, this, uh, several rounds were fired in northeast of Delhi and this clash was between two groups in the welcome area of northeast Delhi. The fight uh, was between uh, the jeans wholesalers, allegedly over the money. Uh, a bystander, in fact, got injured during this incident. In fact, my colleague Mukesh Singh Sengar joins us to get us more on this. Mukesh, uh, what are the details that you can give us about uh, this incident? Look, Osama, this is about 6 o'clock in the morning when in North East Delhi, there are some people who are in the welcome area of jeans. They had some people here and they had some work done and they had some work done and they had some work done. तो पैसे को लेकर झगड़ा हुआ और झगड़े के बाद जो लोग बधाई बधाइयों से आए हुए थे उन्होंने फायरिंग शुरू कर दी और करीब करीब 16 राउंड इसमें फायरिंग हुई है और इस फायरिंग में एक जो लड़की वहां पर खड़ी हुई थी उसके कंधे पे गोली लगी है वो इंजर्ड हो गई थी और इसके बाद पुलिस मौके पर पहुंची और पुलिस ने वहां पर करीब सोलह से सत्रह कारतूस जो जो खाली कारतूस है एम पी कार्टेज है वो बरामद किए हैं और जानकारी मिली है कि पांच से छह लोग पुलिस ने डिटेन किए हैं जिससे पूछताछ चल रही है जो कि इस घटना में इन्वॉल्व थे बाकी इसमें अभी और क्या इसके पीछे रीजन है इसकी जांच कर रही है पुलिस लेकिन जानकारी ये मिली है कि कुछ पैसे को लेकर झगड़ा हुआ दो ग्रुप्स में और उसके बाद एक ग्रुप ने जो की बदायू से आया हुआ था उस ग्रुप ने फायरिंग की और करीब सोलह राउंड फायरिंग हुई है पुलिस के मुताबिक इस पूरी फायरिंग में जो देशी कट्टे हैं उनका इस्तेमाल किया गया है उनको भी उनको भी बरामद करने की कोशिश की जा रही है तो कुल मिलाकर चार से पांच जो लोग हैं वो राउंड अप किए गए हैं और साथ में इस पूरे मामले में जानकारी मिली है कि पैसे को लेकर झगड़ा हुआ जिसके बाद ये फायरिंग हुई ऑल राइट मुकेश सिंह थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर गेटिंग अस ऑल दीज डिटेल्स इन दैट इंसिडेंट Meanwhile, the NDA is gearing up for the upcoming Maharashtra elections. The Mahayuti is in a huddle over seat sharing. The seat sharing final talks uh, that will take place on Sunday and sources say that uh, the NDA is likely to decide on 35 seats. In the meanwhile, Amit Shah, he's met uh, with Chief Minister Eknath Shinde and uh, his deputies, Ajit Pawar, as well as uh, Devendra Fadnavis. Uh, BJP, Sena and NCP lists is likely to be out uh, together. Chief Minister Shinde in the meanwhile said that the Mahayuti list uh, is uh, to be released very soon while uh, Devendra Farnavis, he said that the Mahayuti seat sharing is in the final stages. Zagavatpa Sandarbatli Charcha Amchi Agdi Antim Tapya Madhya Ahe Kalahi Bharapur Sakaratmak Charcha Hoon Zawapas Jaya Adichani Cha Zaga Hotiya कतले आर्द्र पक्ष जास्ता में क्लियर किले थोड़े शत जगह आजुन बात ले लाए हैं क्या यह दोनों दिशा तो हमें क्लियर करूं हम सब से ठहर ले लाए हैं कि क्लियर जाले ले जा जगह हैं त्याग त्याग पक्ष ने आप अपने सोई नहीं तेजी घोषणा करा भी भारतीय जनता पार्टी ची पद्धत है हम ची इलेक्शन कमिटी पार्लि� Meanwhile, all is not well inside the Mahavikas Aghari over uh, the seat sharing talks. Uh, the Congress has in fact reached out to Uddhav Thakre. Uh, talks have resumed post uh, the Sena Uddhav Sahab Thakre and Congress meeting. Congress in the meanwhile says that the Mahavikas Aghari is in good health. <laughs> वो लोग इधर आके करके काम शुरू करेंगे इसके लिए भी थी सिर्फ शहर का बैठक उधर चल रहे दो दिन के अंदर सब हो जाए Meanwhile, two former chief ministers, Babulal Marandi and Champai Soren, they are among BJP's list of 66 candidates for the Jharkhand elections, which was released on Saturday evening. Mr. Soren, a former aide of Jharkhand chief minister Heman Soren, he quit the Jharkhand Mukti Morcha and uh, crossed over to the BJP in August. The list, it also features Champai Soren's son and Sita Soren, the sister-in-law of Heman Soren. Mr. Marandi, the Jharkhand BJP president, uh, he will contest from Dhanwar, while Champai Soren and his son Babulal Soren, they will contest from Saraikela and Ghatshila respectively. 
tribal outreach has been achieved by this by this list but uh, more on the expected line uh, you have opposition now actually gunning for bjp and blaming them uh, for 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 giving tickets to the family members of the bjp big wheels here you have uh, you have champai soren and his son both uh, uh, getting ticket bjp ticket you have uh, you have a uh, uh, daughter in law of uh, the former chief minister raghuvar das so the many this is a the huge long list actually which has been put out on x uh, by jmm and this would certainly uh, uh, start a uh, this would certainly be a new uh, political brickback battle which would be played and uh, this uh, lift has uh, this entire list has given any form opposition ammunition uh, to jmm to 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 congress actually to hit upon bjp blaming them of uh, of of giving out tickets to the family members of the uh, of the of the big big wheels of uh, the, the the bjp's out there now talking about the uh, tribal outreach certainly that is that has been an area of concern for bjp because if you see the lok sabha leaders they have traditionally not been doing well in the tribal dominated area you have three former chief ministers now in 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 the in the in in, in the uh, state actually running the bjp show over there so uh, all all three of them are uh, have been a former chief minister so bjp has a, a number of tribal faces but they haven't declared any as a chief minister candidate whereas or if this is the opposition you have you have already established face as sure. himan sorain and the opposition seems more united as far as uh, this entire coalition is concerned Meanwhile, uh, as far as JMM Congress seat sharing pact is concerned, uh, the India Bloc uh, it will contest the upcoming Jharkhand Assembly polls uh, together. Chief Minister Hemant Sorain he has announced uh, this on uh, Saturday. The Congress and ruling Jharkhand Mukti Morcha they will field candidates in 70 of the 81 Assembly segments. JMM Congress RJD के एक और सहयोगी गठबंधन में शामिल हो रहे हैं लेफ्ट पार्टी की भी इसमें भूमिका होगी और इस चरण में इस चुनाव में अभी जो पहले चरण में ये बातें तय हुई है कि राज्य के सत्तर सीटों पर इंडिया गठबंधन के जयमएम कांग्रेस के प्रत्याशी होंगे हम पांच सीटों पर राना रप रहे बाकी हमारे गठबंधन के सहयोगिया सहयोगी लोग शायद उतनी सीटों पर परसेंटेज टर्म्स में राना रप नहीं रहे इन चीजों का समायोजन हमें दुख के साथ कहना पड़ता है कि यूनिलैटरल फैसला लिया गया कि आपको फलाने नंबर ऑफ सीट का ऑफर दिया जा रहा है ये ना राजद की ऐतिहासिक ताकत के अनुरूप है ना समकालीन जो परिस्थितियां हैं उसके अनुरूप है हम अपने गठबंधन के सहयोगियों को इस बात के लिए आग्रह करेंगे कि उसके अनुरूप फैसला लीजिए कांग्रेस आरजेडी झारखंड मुक्ति मोर्चा हेमंत सोरेन जी की अगुवाई में राहुल जी तेजस्वी सब मिलकर हम एक साथ लड़ेंगे ही इसमें कोई दो राय नहीं है आगे पीछे कॉमो बेस कुछ हुआ या नहीं हुआ इसमें चुनाव में कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा क्योंकि नामांकन भरने तक चर्चा जारी रहेगी एंड यूनियन मिनिस्टर प्रहलाद जोशी हैज डीबंक्ड नॉन फैक्चुअल एफआईआर प्रहलाद जोशी क्लैरिफाइड दैट डिटेल्स मेंशन इन द एफआईआर आर नॉट करेक्ट ही हैड सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम गोपाल जोशी 32 इयर्स अगो Pralaj Joshi also said that uh, he has no sister after the arrest of a strange brother Gopal Joshi in alleged cheating case Pralaj Joshi puts the real picture out Minister said that in 2012 a family uh, arrangement deed was uh, executed to specify that they do not constitute any joint family status or any joint transaction socially or financially he has issued public caution notice in newspapers back in 2012 The Bengaluru police, in the meanwhile, has arrested Gopal Joshi from Kolhapur in Maharashtra. Earlier, earlier occasion also, brother of State Bharati Janata Party president that used to be headline in many media, and at that time, I went to the city civil court, Bengaluru, for linking my name with him. the details are clearly stated in the affidavit 
ऑर्डर साइन ऑन ट्वेंटी टू इलेवन ट्वेंटी थर्टीन एज पर द एफिडेविट एंड सब्सिक्वेंटली ऑर्डर पास बाई द कोर्ट द प्लेटिव एंड गोपाल वी जोशी हैव सेपरेटेड सिंस मै सिंस मोर देन ट्वेंटी ईयर्स एट दैट टाइम इन दिस कनेक्शन दे हैव एग्जीक्यूटेड ए फैमिली अरेंजमेंट डीड A key meeting with all the airline CEOs uh, took place on Saturday amid the bomb scare calls. Uh, the meeting was held at uh, the Rajiv Gandhi Bhavan. The meeting it lasted for two hours. Uh, all the CEOs they have been asked to follow SOPs. All airlines they have been instructed to keep themselves informed about the up uh, the situation as of now. In the meanwhile, Union Minister Muli Dhar Mohal he said that the probe is underway and the safety of all flyers is the government's priority. इसके वजह से लोगों को दिक्कतें आ रही है प्रवासियों को बहुत कठिनाइयों का सामना करने पड़ रहा है लेकिन ये भी जरूर है कि जो सिक्योरिटी प्रोटोकॉल से उसके तहत हमारी प्रायोरिटी तो जो प्रवासी है उनकी सुरक्षितता को ही देना पड़ रहा है तो थोड़ा सा तकलीफ है थोड़ी तकलीफ भी है लेकिन अभी हमारी सभी एजेंसी काम करिए हमारी विकास हो आई हो इनके कोर्डिनेशन में अच्छा काम चल रहा है जो देश में जहां से मैसेज आ रहे कुछ लोगों को गिरफ्तार भी किया है और आगे जाके बहुत जल्दी इस प्रॉब्लम से हम बाहर आ जाएंगे इट हैज बीन अ डबल वैमी फॉर ऑल द दिल्ली आइट्स इन दिस पोल्यूशन सीजन विद बैट एयर एंड टॉक्सिक फोम इन द रिवर्स इन दिल्ली टॉक्सिक फोम हैज कवर्ड द यमुना रिवर एंड पॉलिटिक्स हैज पीक्ड ओवर दिस पोल्यूशन बीजेपी इज ब्लेमिंग द आम आदमी पार्टी ओवर रिवर क्लीन अप प्रोमिस meanwhile uh, the bjp also asks uh, uh, says that the aam aadmi party it failed to keep its promise and that uh, the water in yamuna has become poisonous the double whammy of uh, air and water pollution and uh, the pollution of the yamuna river has been a recurring topic and a political uh, tool for decades now but clearly there has been a absence of accountability and ownership to bring about concrete solution to clear this uh, uh, yamuna uh, pollution uh, because as you can see this entire white foam that has been caused because of the mixing of uh, decaying plants and pollutants with the water uh, this this uh, this causes serious health hazards uh, because um, of course there is high level of chemical pollutants in there uh, ammonia phosphate sulfur which can uh, cl clearly have a uh, great uh, health impact uh, cause skin issues respiratory issues and uh, this this is an issue that has been going on for time immemorial and there has been no solution in sight sarkare har baar mudda uthati hai aur ye tabhi jagti hai jab ye chhatka tyohar aata hai chhat ke baad ye ab kuch din baad jaisi chhat nikal jayegi ना तो सरकारों को कोई चिंता रहेगी ना ही आम जन को सॉल्यूशन का देखो सबसे पहले तो हमें घर से ही शुरुआत करनी होगी हम जो अपने घरों से अपशिष्ट पदार्थ जो निकालते हैं हम जो शैम्पू यूज करते हैं कपड़े कपड़े धोते हैं घरों के नाली साफ सफाई करते हैं घरों के जो सीवेज होते हैं उनको अगर हर घर में सीवेज ट्रीटमेंट प्लांट नहीं लगाया जा सकता बट कुछ बायो बायो केमिकल्स होते हैं बायो एंजाइम्स होते हैं जिनको हम यूज करके कुछ हद तक अपने घरों से सफाई शुरू कर सकते हैं the bjp criticizing the aap government for failing to clean the river despite promises accusing it of using toxic politics to neglect the pollution crisis 3000 crore rupaye yamuna ji ki safai ke liye kendra sarkar ne delhi ki kejriwal sarkar ko diya unko 10 saal mein yamuna ji ko saaf karna chahiye tha unko unhone yahan par mrit pray kar diya hai यहाँ का ऑक्सीजन कंटेंट यमुना जी में जीरो परसेंट सेवेंटी इंडिकेटिंग रॉ सीवेज इन द वॉटर अरविंद केजरीवाल का बयान है मेरे फोन पर भी है कि 2025 तक मैं यमुना को इतनी साफ कर दूंगा कि उसमें आप डुबकी लगा सकोगे अब छठ पूजा आने वाली है क्या छठ पूजा के दिन पर क्या हमारी जो महिलाएं हैं घर की औरतें हैं क्या इसमें पानी में उतर पाएंगी स्प्रेइंग डिफॉर्मर्स इज टू लिटिल टू लेट सस्टेनेबल सॉल्यूशंस आर नीडेड फॉर अ लॉन्ग टर्म क्लीन अप व्हेन विल द यमुना फाइनली बी क्लीनड एंड कैन इट रियली बी क्लीनड विद वीडियो जर्नलिस्ट मुरसलीन एंड श्रेया घोष ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट एनडीटीवी
Meanwhile, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that he remains undeterred by the Hezbollah drone attack that targeted his home and warned Hezbollah that they will pay a heavy price for targeting him and his wife. He said that Israel is determined to achieve all war objectives and will bring back their hostages home from Gaza. And the Suwedi Park Festival in Riyadh this year is dedicated to India. The 10-day fest is showcasing Indian culture, food, art and music. It's part of Saudi Media Ministry's Global Harmony Initiative that aims at better understanding between the communities as well as cultures. NDTV's Mohammad Asim has sent us this report from the Suwedi Festival. So we are coming to you from Suwedi Park in Riyadh. Grand Indian Cultural Festival is on at the Suwedi Park. It's part of the Harmony project launched by the Saudi government. This year, 10 days are dedicated only to Indian culture and Indian food and Indian music and Indian art. People are coming in, mostly Indians, but also Saudis. The idea behind this festival, the government says, is to promote collaboration and understanding between the local Saudi population and the expat population. And since Indians are the largest group here in Saudi Arabia, counting to nearly 2.6 million people, the government is making extra efforts to make them feel at home and also to make the local Saudis know more about how Indians live, what is their culture, what is their food like, what is their music like. So let's see what's in store in there. an Indian extravaganza in the heart of Saudi capital of Riyadh. Celebration of Indian art, culture, food and music. A tribute by the Saudi government to the vast Indian community living in the kingdom, 2.6 million Indians today call Saudi Arabia their home. The India focus at this year's Suwedi Fest is part of a larger Global Harmony initiative launched by the Saudi Ministry of Media. Its main aim is to promote bonhomie and better understanding of the Indian culture among the local population. In fact, this, this initiative by the Ministry of Media came to show how Indian residents here are in very close relationship with their uh, uh, society in Saudi Arabia. A great uh, Indian cultural show for nine days as part of the uh, Riyadh season and as part of the Global Harmony Initiative, which was launched uh, yesterday by His Excellency the Minister of Media. This is a very important initiative which uh, strengthens the bonds between the Indian communities, the other expatriate communities in the kingdom, and the Saudi society. We welcome this initiative. We are very excited to see a huge crowd of our. Uh, Indian community and the Saudi friends come here and enjoy the Indian culture. The arena is a buzz with all things Indian. Food to artists performing at the event every evening. The Indians feel at home at the fest and appreciate the Saudi government's efforts. Yeah, great experience. They are now come up with a lot of activities, not for the locals but uh, for the experts also, and specifically like this such type of events. It's really amazing. The other set of the target audience for the fest are the Saudis, who are trooping in large numbers to savor a slice of India in Riyadh. Uh, it's a part of Riyadh season, as we see in uh, social media. Uh, it's going to be an Indian culture here, Indian music. So we visit today, Swedi Park to be part of this kind of uh, beautiful experience, learning a lot of things about India when it's come to music, culture, music, uh, food. Uh, I like the food uh, India, uh, and I like the uh, culture of India, and like people in India, nice, very nice. While kids from different communities enjoy games at one end of the park, in another corner, men and women from different cultures groove to Indian music and film songs being performed live by artists from India. 
and in this quiet corner at the otherwise buzzing Suvedi Park, exotic and friendly birds from different countries amuse the visitors. So here at Suvedi Park, this is the birds arena where they show showcase some rare birds, some Arabian birds and also some international species. So here you see an Arabian eagle sitting pretty on my arm and enjoying the view. Let's see, there are so many different and beautiful birds in this arena at Suvedi Park. Young and aspiring, Saudis and Indians are birds of the same feather, who the Saudi government sees as fellow travellers on the road to growth and harmony. With camera person Momen Manzoor Mohammad Asim in Riyadh for NDTV.